Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today I am going to be showing you how to sew up a pair of knit lounge pants. These have pockets, and they have a drawstring waist to adjust the fit, and these are just like comfy for hanging out around the house. I have a free pattern for a men's size medium to make these, and the blog post below has all the details on how to get that pattern. And then I'm also gonna be showing you how to resize it for different sizes. So meet me back at the camera and I will show you how to make the pattern fit and then how to sew it up. Once you download, print out the pattern and put it all together, it's going to look something like this. And to save paper, I went ahead and I overlapped the front pattern piece with the back pattern piece. Now you can either fold those other pieces out of the way when you are working on just the front or the back, or you can print it twice like I did here. You'll notice that there's a line down the middle that is the grading line, and that's where you're going to be resizing the pattern if you need to make this a different size. So this one is a men's size medium. But if, for example, you need to make it larger, you would cut it on that line and you would spread the pants leg apart. Now you do want to spread more at the top and less at the ankle. So I wouldn't actually spread it the same amount all the way down. I would do it kind of in a V. But that would be how you would resize this to make a different size. If you need to make this smaller instead of spreading, you would overlap at that line. And remember, whatever amount you overlap on one leg, multiply that times four, and that's gonna be the total amount you take out of the hips if you overlap on the front and the back the same. For example, if I overlap one inch, then I'm taking a total of four inches out of the hip measurement and going down a size. If I spread it apart an inch, I am adding a total of four inches around the hip measurement. So use those guidelines to resize your pattern as necessary. There is also a lengthen shorten line right here. And if you need to make this longer for somebody tall, then you can spread it apart that way. And if you need to make it shorter, you can overlap and then keep these lines the same here. Like keep your grading line matched up and you may need to redraw this inseam. Once you have the pattern all sized correctly for your needs, go ahead and cut it out. And here is what you're going to have. You're going to have two front pieces and those are gonna be mirror images. And I've cut this out in miniature, of course, cause that is easier to show all at once on camera. And also it'll take me less time to sew this up. And I've also got the back. These are life size. You will need a piece of elastic that is equal to the waist size that you're making. You will also need a piece of twill tape or ribbon that is equal to the waist size you are making if you want to add a drawstring. Also, if you want to add a drawstring, you're going to need two 12 inch pieces. And I like to cut these parallel to the selvage line on my knit fabric because then what you can do after after I sew these on to the drawstring at the ends, what I can do is pull it and you can see how that kind of just makes itself into a tube and I can add a knot on one end and that will keep it from going through the hole where the drawstring is. Now, don't knot more than one end before you start because you are gonna need one unknotted end to thread this through. Let's see how to sew this up. The first thing we want to do is we want to take the front and the backs and we want to place them right sides together and we are going to be sewing up that center front and center back crotch seam. When we sew the front pieces together, I want to point something out, we need to sew the portion that is the casing, so I'm going to fold this down and kind of finger press it so I can see where my casing is. We need to sew that and then we need to leave a gap in the middle of the part that the casing would cover. This is where we're gonna be inserting the drawstring. Now, the drawstring is optional. If you don't wanna put it in, then just sew the whole front crotch seam. And I also want to be sure and mention that though I am sewing this little miniature here on a woven fabric, that's just so that you can easily see the right and wrong sides. This pattern is made for knit fabrics. So the actual pajama pants that I made, 
Those are cotton spandex knit, and you don't need to finish the seams, but you do need to use a stretch stitch when you are stitching. So even though you see me using a straight stitch here, that's not what you're gonna be doing on your knit fabric. And if you need to see more about stretch stitches, I have a post linked below that will help you out with that. So I'm leaving my little gap here on the front, moving a couple stitches down. On a real size one, you would wanna leave about a half inch to three quarter inch gap. So with that gap sewn in there, I can cut the extra thread and you can see that there is a break in the stitching. Once those are sewn, you can open this up and here is the front of the pants and here is what the back of the pants is going to look like. And then we need to add the pockets on. So you're gonna measure one and a half inches down from the top edge because that's the length allowed for the casing. And you're going to place pockets right sides together right at that line. And then we are going to stitch those pockets on right down this little extension piece. Once the pockets are stitched on, we can open them out and we're going to place the front and the back right sides together. And we're going to match up those waist seams and the pocket. You'll notice that the front leg is very slightly slimmer than the back leg in the thigh area. So when you match these seams up, match up the raw edges. Don't worry about them being the same width. Back leg is wider because we usually need more width in the back of the body. Now on each side, I'm going to sew down the side seam, across and around the pocket, back onto the side seam, and then all the way down. When I stitch across these side seam allowances, I like them pointed towards the pocket. So when you have sewn those side seams, this is what it's going to look like. And then the last thing we need to do on this part is to match those crotch seams on the front and the back. And we're gonna sew along the inseam all in one line. Here we go, sewing up the inseams. So here are the pajama pants. Now what we need to do is press that front seam open. If you sewed it with a serger, you do want to clip into the seam allowance on either side of your gap so that you can press the gap open. And then we're going to press the pockets towards the front side of the pants. And we're going to press down the casing so that the casing edge just barely covers the tops of the pockets. So it'll cover that raw edge. And this is how the casing will be formed here. And then on the outside, we'll have that gap to insert the elastic. On the bottom, you want to go ahead and press up one inch for the hems on the pants. Now those would be really difficult to sew and show on this little pair of pants. So we're gonna switch to the full size piece. But before we do that, I want to show you again the drawstring. So this is the same as the waist size below. So if I'm making a size medium, I wanna use the size small waist measurement and this ribbon doesn't stretch. Then I'm going to add the stretchy knit to the ends of it and I am just going to zigzag the end of this ribbon onto the drawstring piece. And I'm gonna do that on each end. So there we go. I'm not gonna knot this end, but I can go ahead and pull it and get it to kind of crinkle up into a tube. Let's go ahead and insert the elastic and this now. Before I insert the elastic in the drawstring, I do wanna show you here is the inside of my life-size lounge pants, and you can see how the casing is sewn just over the top of these pockets. This is the front. And you can also see 
at the bottom here how I have sewn a one inch hem. I've used a stretch stitch to sew that up and have the bottom hem. So I'm gonna turn these right side out and here is the front of my pants and you can see the hole that I have left in that center front seam so that I can insert the drawstring and the elastic. And I'm going to be using this tool to do it. This is called a bodkin and you clamp it onto the edge of the ribbon or elastic, whatever you're inserting, and you push that down to keep it hold tight on there. If you would like one of these, I do have it linked below, but if you don't have this, you can also just use a safety pin to insert your elastic. So I'm taking my one inch elastic through the casing. Make sure as you're pulling that you don't accidentally pull the elastic all the way through and lose it inside your casing. Once I have the two ends of elastic out, I want to go ahead and overlap them and I'm going to zigzag stitch these together. And once that is stitched together, then you can just pull it on into the casing here. And then the last thing is to install the drawstring. So I'm going to take the end that I didn't knot, and that is the end I'm going to attach to my bodkin and pull through the casing. And I'm putting this like right on top of the elastic. Okay, now that this end is out, I'm going to go ahead and knot this end. And there we go. Here are the two ends of my drawstring so that the fit on the waistband here can be adjusted by pulling the drawstring tighter to get the waist to be tighter. So I've got pockets and the drawstring waistband and my lounge pants are finished. Check out this playlist for more projects to sew your own clothes or clothes for others.